A recent paper in the journal Nature by three scientists associated with the Potsdam Institute for Climate Impact Research in Potsdam, Germany, examined the impact that climate change will have on personal incomes in different parts of the world over the next few decades. The results that they have obtained are both interesting and startling. In this video, I will examine several of their important observations. Previous projections of the economic damages from climate change typically considered only the global impact over very long time periods based only on changes in global average temperature. In contrast, Kotz, Leverman, and Wentz used recent empirical findings from more than 1,600 regions worldwide over the past 40 years to project economic damages much more locally, both from temperature changes and from the effects of climate change on local precipitation. They used an empirical approach that provided a robust lower bound on the persistence of impacts on economic growth and found that the world economy already is committed to an average personal income reduction of approximately 19% over the next 26 years, independent of future greenhouse gas emission pathways. They note that these economic damages to personal income already outweigh the mitigation costs required to limit global warming to two degrees centigrade by sixfold over the next few decades. After that, the economic damage to personal income depends heavily on whether the increase in global average temperature can be limited to about two degrees centigrade by the year 2100. The economic damage to personal income that will take place over the next few decades arise predominantly through changes in local average temperatures, but accounting for precipitation locally raises damage estimates by up to 50% and leads to stronger regional variation. Interestingly, income losses are projected for all regions except those at very high northern latitudes, where increases in local average temperatures actually will result in income gains. The details of the calculations made by Kotz et al. are rather complicated. To keep this video short, I will focus only on the results of their calculations. This chart shows the average global impact on personal income for two different scenarios. The first scenario, called RCP 2.6, assumes that we will be able to limit global warming to about two degrees centigrade by the year 2100. The green and blue lines in this chart are for the RCP 2.6 scenario. The orange line refers to the RCP 8.5 scenario under which global warming will rise to about 4.5 degrees centigrade by the year 2100. The RCP 8.5 scenario assumes that nothing additional will be done to limit the emission of greenhouse gases, which very likely is an unrealistic assumption. Note that the shaded areas in this chart show the uncertainty in the results obtained by Kotz et al. But focusing on the blue and red lines, we see that they don't differ much over the next few de decades. So under both emission scenarios, we can expect personal incomes to decline by about 15 to 20 percent in constant dollars, owing to global warming. Part of the de decline in personal income will come from the cost to achieve the limitation in greenhouse gas emissions, if any. The green line in the chart shows the cost to limit emissions sufficiently to keep global warming to about two degrees centigrade by the year 2100. 
Comparing the green line and the blue line, we see that the mitigation or emission control cost is only about one sixth of the total impact on personal income from global warming. The rest is from other impacts of climate change on personal income. Those include things like loss of work days owing to severe weather events, etc. The blue and orange line in these charts have the same meaning as in the previous chart, except that the individual charts are for different regions of the planet. While they all are similar, if you look closely, you can see significant regional differences. The next chart will show these differences in much greater detail. This map shows in greater detail geographical estimates of the projected reduction in personal income by 2049 owing to climate change as obtained by Cox et al. using the median or halfway values between the RCP 2.5 and the RCP 8.5 scenarios with all climate variables included in the calculation. One conclusion that we can draw from this map is that many of the locations suffering the greatest percentage reductions in personal income are not in countries that produce the greatest amount of greenhouse gases. We know that the top five greenhouse gas emitting regions are China, the United States, India, the European Union, and Russia. And as we see, almost none of the geographic areas that are likely to be hit with the greatest percentage reduction in personal income are in those areas. I hope that you have found this video informative. If you have any comments or questions, please write them in the comments section of the video and I will do my best to respond. In addition, please take some time to watch some of my other climate related videos. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my YouTube channel.